also with all of the changes um, coming up in this next patch, rest in peace, Bruiser. I will keep my eye out for you in future updates. Um, but right now, it looks like I won't be seeing you anymore. So I will celebrate the things that you have been and things you will no longer be. Um, but I wanted to talk about two builds that are coming into the next patch that are absolutely amazing, um, that have just increased so much of my enjoyment in the game. Um, obviously, Bruiser has been something that I have worked for the gear set. I have spent a lot of time to really master over time, and it is sad that I won't be able to play it anymore, 100%. Um, so, tier for the Bruiser class. Um, and I'll keep an eye out for what you turn into over the next few updates. This class has actually taught me quite a bit of how to position with my team, how to look back for where my team's positioned, and a lot of stuff that I'm super thankful that I learned um, from this class. And obviously the excess health and stats and everything have just made it easier to not be scared of taking damage and stuff. So it's really helped me maneuver into these next classes that, um, that I'll show you here in a second. A friend. But what I really am excited for is the Fire Staff class. Um, I've been playing it for about two, two months, I would say. Um, just getting this one up to 625, this gear and everything. It's not completely missed out, but um, it's fairly close to it, and it does an insane amount of damage. The ability to really lock in the enemy team into a specific zone, because you can just artillery shoot fireballs and like do massive amount of dot damage, um, just kind of lines people back into the main ball. So you can kind of control people a lot more with this, uh, this fire set. So it's been fun to kind of just learn this class in general. Um, a lot of it's like up front, just burst the crap out of the enemy zerg, get them low, let the bruisers get the kills, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as they're moving backwards and you just slowly move forward while like containing the enemy team. I do like this class too because it has some maneuverability and stuff as well. Um, and the ability to like zone out people from specific areas too, uh, especially around doors and everything. Um, it's a really fun fight around doors because you just you just see the amount of numbers of fire damage that's going down. Um, just from you shooting into a doorway is absolutely absurd. And then the ability to actually like pick these, these ranged people off from the top ramparts and stuff, um, or at least make them to fall back down to where they can't heal their team if their team wants to push or something like that. It just makes this class super, super viable. And I feel like it's gonna be fun to see what happens in the next patch with it um, and how it kind of transitions to OPR and wars. Um, the 1v1 with this is actually pretty fun too. Um, it does quite a bit of damage um, when it comes to finishing off enemies. And structures just take massive amounts of burden damage too, which is kind of fun. With the ability like 2v1 and 1v1, um, the potential is just so high when using the fire staff too because of the AoE.
And then holding the inside of doors is quite fun too. Like separating the whole back line from the front line with uh, storms and then being able to heavy attack stun people if they're trying to come in and support their team. Um, it's just really good and it forces the whole front line to just get pushed back out the door or die. So all in all, it's a really, really fun class. The amount of damage that you output is just nuts. And so with the updates to the, the ultimate, uh, with the big explosion and then burnout's explosion on the end of it, I feel like Firestep is going to be in a really good place uh, coming this next patch. So I'm getting all my gear, getting ready um, for what that looks like. I might end up making some elemental aversion or physical aversion gear to deal with bows whenever I'm running this gear. Um, so resilient, refreshing, and physical aversion. Um, is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe some freedom, depending on how much CC is happening. So I'm kind of waiting on that, but I'll throw that out in future updates. Um, and you guys can always let me know too, if you have any questions or what you should be running or what you think is good right now. Um, it'd be fun to hear what you guys think as well, so we can come up with some ideas as a community and just, uh, I don't know, make New World PvP better um, in general, grow. But the 1v1 potential, it's pretty cool. Um, you can see it on this guy massively. It's just, you do so much damage and you can lock people in place. Um, the ability to peel your team and uh, to make people not be able to go in the places they want to go is, it's, it's very satisfying. So all in all, it's been a wonderful build. I'm hitting over a million damage with this build, not even fully decked out, I'm pretty close to it, but hitting that plus the update, I'm like, this is gonna be lovely. So whenever I was playing this build, I was like, all right, what am I gonna play whenever I'm not running this? Um, what would be another one, even if there's a lot of these or a lot of the flamethrowers, because it's hard to fight against a flamethrower with this. What do I think I'll be running um, to kind of counteract this and kind of start messing around with some different stuff? The next build is the bow greatsword build that I have absolutely been loving as well. Um, it's got a different feel and style to it. It has so much more maneuverability and a lot of different tricks that are just in the kit that's very fun to use. 
this gear score is actually at 607, um, so I was definitely a lot more squishy and did a lot less damage than normal, but I was really limit testing and seeing, can I actually kill people? And leaving this guy with a sliver of HP with this gear score, I was like, hey, I actually might be able to, this might be a viable build, so a little bit later. About a week later, after playing this, getting a little more comfortable, starting to figure out, okay, this is how I actually kill people. And uh, it just felt a lot more fluid. Um, it felt like the skill cap um, of being able to make an impact is a lot higher. So, very much enjoying it. Also, with the maneuverability, the greatsword after using the Relentless Rush or any of the uh, Onslaught Tree skills, you get an Onslaught stance and then you just have so much movement speed, it's actually incredible. It's pretty fun. It's the greatest. But the ability to do initial damage up front and then finish people off with the greatsword um, was a fun combo to learn and then also switching it up and then doing the opposite and initiating with the greatsword and then finishing people off with the bow. I feel like it has the ability to kill either way that you um, either way that you use it. Whereas I feel like a lot of other builds require you to use like the hammer before the great decks. Um, so I like this being able to actually not use both in any way. I see fit just creates a lot of creativity with this build. Definitely suggest trying it. And I can't hit anything right now. And that is alright, because I'm gonna get better. Also, just getting out of CC, like, getting out of really sticky situations, I feel like is almost inevitable with this build. Um, you just have so many tools at your disposal, even peeling for your team with the CC that you have with uh, a fade shot. I know that the uh, CC on Rapid Shot, I think, is going away in the patch, um, so you won't have that, but the evade shot is just so nice. a couple of times where my team would get like dove like this and I just had the ability to peel my team and then separate their team and then end up going in on somebody or if I got dove like this I ended up being able to get out um, incredibly reliably actually um, it just surprised me how much how much you can disengage and get out of fights um, and then people coming up to you and trying to like combo you and you just murder them. It's just, it's such a fun thing. They're not expecting that kind of damage out of a bow user for some reason. So all in all, obviously the gear score on this was a little bit less. Whenever my gear score for the mage um, was around this, it was about 300k damage. Um, and this build is actually at around 500k right now at its gear scores, and so I'm, I'm suspecting it's going to get to about 1.2 million um, with the damage once I actually finish out the build. So definitely wanted to share this with you guys so that you can enjoy um, just the style of play if you if you like this style of play, aggressive, um, lots of maneuverability, lots of ability to <clears throat> make an impact in a lot of different ways. So.
these are the two builds that I am the most excited for. I'll be working on for a little bit. If you guys have any questions about these builds or any theories or anything, just hit me up in the comments below. If you want to see more content like this, make sure and subscribe. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.